moving into machine learning and AI, the premise is the fundamental thing in that is data. Because data is what gives you the health of the product. Even to bring out diagnostic models of how a physics-based model would be running against a natural or physical component basically means that you need data to compare between the two sets. So we are actually leveraging the data which becomes your fundamental, what you term as oil, to monetize because that is the platform onto which we build AI and ML logic. What you cannot measure uh, cannot be improved. It's a very simple thumb rule. So if you would like to lose your weight, simple something as simple and personal as that, first thing you need is probably a weighing machine uh, in which you measure your weight and record that weight. So first importance is to be able to measure your weight. But you could make the second mistake which is you measure your weight but you do not record your weight. So what is super important is not only measuring your weight on a daily basis and forgetting it but being able to actually measure your weight and record it on a permanent basis so that we can then plot a graph out of it and then see when are the variations coming. So data is the absolutely the new oil and the best way for organizations to uh, to start uh, squeezing the value out of data is to first be uh, non-judgmental about data and its value. Any data needs to be measured and needs to be saved because measuring is also absolutely very low cost and saving it as a storage cost is also practically nil. So we earlier the organizations used to apply a question of what value is this data and not uh, actually save data. But now the, the default rule is save all the data and and then we'll look at what value we can squeeze out of it later because uh, newer and newer ways of squeezing value out of data are being discovered as we speak. See, the, the, if you look at the data, it is, there is a two. One is for your operation, second is your market, the new market in chain. The data, how you reuse the data, how you analyze the data for better decision making. I see there's been plenty into the operational space. Now, all presently we more look at the Indian companies for a market, market, market. But it is operational, have a huge potential. Data is the prime most important thing in our lives today. Take a consumer or an enterprise or a government entity. It's all around data. And in fact, we, we are also, also coined a new phrase here called eight C's of data, which talks about the flow, what data goes through in our daily lives, eight C's. Connect, collect, collate, compute, conserve, communicate. And it brings the eight C, which is change. So data is going to bring the next level of transformation changes in our lives, in our work, and change the way we work, we play, or we look at things. Now, data, if you look at till now, or till few years back, was primarily around insights. But now, data is moving from just giving you insights to creating new revenue models. And that's why it's even more important because you can use data to actually create new revenue streams. And look at Facebook, look at Google, what they have done without any hardware or software products. They have created their billion dollar companies around data, right? So that is why I don't think that anybody has a doubt that data can be actually used to mine not only insights, but also a lot of money and lots of revenue for companies. And that's why it's critical. Um, absolutely, data is a new oil. Um, capitalization of, of the oil. Of, of this data is uh, is highly dependent on how fast you evolve as an organization. Um, understanding the how what steps you need to take uh, to make this cultural transformation, and um, more importantly, understand uh, you know the the clearly the business ROI behind the digital transformation. For more updates from CXO TV, please like and subscribe to our channel.